Yo, it's your boy Pinoy here uh, in our new event hotel. Life's pretty good. We're out of quarantine, so yeah, that is so nice. Been able to get so much great food and finally being together with the team as well. We have a few more days uh, here uh, before we can like start exploring Shanghai as well as World starts uh, next week for us as well. So yeah, there's a lot of things to look forward to. We can go to the gym with Jankas and Wunder. Uh, if we schedule our time to get a ride. Hearing Yankas being loud though can sometimes be irritating. In a good way, right? Like this guy is just so loud, right? So you have to get used to it again. Sometimes I do miss the quarantine life, like being isolated away from him personally. Next up uh, block, we will probably be out of the soft quarantine and then yeah, see you guys next time. Hey guys, Mickey here. This is I think day four of non-quarantine being in the new hotel. It's pretty nice. Um, did some screaming. Um, had some technical difficulties with the internet, so it was hard to scream, but other than that, I think screams were better than in quarantine. At least pro productive-wise. Just playing browser games, because you can't download stuff. So I'm playing Adventure Quest and My Brute, having a bit of a throwback. I remember playing it when I was like 10. So, I'm playing that again, that's fun. And yeah, right now, I just kind of woke up, played some piano, now I'm playing some Zelda. You can see my Zelda on my screen here. That's kind of it, yeah. Hello guys, Wanda here. We finished soft quarantining yesterday. Um, that means we could finally leave the hotel for the first time in three weeks. We could like actually go outside and explore everything. Um, so we did. We went to this fried dumpling, steamed dumpling place with our lovely tour guide Tom showing us the way. Um, it was actually pretty good. It was uh, for sure a change up for the hotel food we had been eating the last couple of weeks. Don't really like dumplings that much, but these dumplings were actually pretty good. They were from Yang, Yang's dumplings, and I liked them a lot more than, than Ying's dumplings. So that was pretty good. And afterwards we went to um, a garden. Um, it was a pretty nice garden. Definitely nicer than the garden I have at home. Hey guys, it's Pino here. Uh, yeah, today we finally got to go outside of Shanghai and went to uh, see some uh, garden. Can't remember the U Garden, I think it was. And it was uh, pretty interesting. There was a lot of uh, good history to it about like how everything is built and how like fortune is very important in China. How does it feel to be outside again, Wanda? You hate it. You'd rather be inside. Yeah. yeah. I miss quarantine. You miss quarantine. Except for the food. <laughs> So pretty good experience all around then, yeah? So, yesterday was a pretty nice day because it was my birthday, uh, so it had to be nice. Um, it was just one of those birthdays, just the sixth year in a row where I'm not at home with my friends or family. Well, I am with my friends but not my home friends. Uh, and I'm with my family but my home family. We got to learn some of the uh, some of Chinese history the yuga, from the Yu Garden and some of the traditions. This is the entrance, uh, this is the reception hall of the family. The name of this hall is called the Three Kong Yi Hall. Anyone want the Chinese? Anyone want the Chinese? The, just general culture, that was pretty interesting. I found it very interesting, not all my teammates found it very interesting, but I get it, you know, when I was in their age, I didn't really find it interesting either. Uh, but now when I'm 22, I to find tours more interesting, um, becoming a boomer. And then, yeah, I mean, after that we went to, I think the coastline, we just walked a bit until we went to a hot pot place. Uh, hadn't really tried hot pot that many times and it was just really different than what I thought it would be. Um, it was it was all right though, it was pretty decent. Um, and then since it was Lucas' birthday, uh, they also did like a, like a dance for him uh, with like some weed music playing. Not a big fan, pretty happy it was not me that had to like participate in all of that. Uh, it was just like, yeah, it was like a little bit cringe, you know? Yeah, in the end we had a pretty funny celebration in the hot pot place. They brought a lot of surprises. Uh, that was quite an experience. <laughs>
cars. You have to move stuff pretty fast, though. Well, I mean, maybe I've done some dancing before. <laughs> maybe. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, man. I hope this is one you don't forget. <laughs> um, I think it was very important to get out of the hotel and out of the play, play, play only life. I think that it was very difficult on us and very tiring to like non-stop play scrims and solo queue, especially that we played scrims against only good teams, right? So we didn't really have a break. <laughs> we couldn't really catch a break. Um, but now heading into group stage, we have two days left of playing. We will play tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow. Then Saturday, we will have an off day since, uh, well, no teams will be scrimming, right? Everyone will be kind of busy with stage games. So I'm pretty excited and looking forward to the group stage. I think that we, maybe as ready as we could be, but doesn't necessarily mean we are super ready, right? So we'll just try our best and hope that we can get out of group stage and then do good in BO5, so yeah. Looking forward to playing the group stage in one week. And for now, we're just watching play-ins. Those are pretty fun. Looking forward to see how they end up. And yeah, see you next time, guys.